here's a statement before my statement and this and I'm showing this picture which represents how I feel it's just like a crazy picture that's and then I'm gonna share the statement and some of the grammar is like it's not the best and but this is what I'm trying to say and and I'm just that's all I'm gonna be it's gonna leave it there and and people have to make a decision of what I was saying and and I'm really serious about it and and people may not like me after it and they might disagree and think I've lost my faith or whatever and well maybe somebody can comment or maybe reach out to me but that's my statement and I'm sticking to it and and uh and if anybody has questions i have some information in the scripture or comment or whatever it's just that uh i've been dealing with some things lately and and that's just how i feel right now and in my opinion strong opinions and it doesn't represent what the platform which i share it on and just opinions and strong and I want to say facts but then then uh, the platform which I shared on it's just that you know it's things that are important to me and this and that, that's how I'm gonna leave it there and just that's how I'm gonna do and, and that's how it's gonna be and and just take it and leave it there and, and my statement pre-recorded and I taped up some things again and and that's what it's gonna be and and I leave this picture here and and that's what it's gonna be and and the picture stands and and that's what I'm saying and that's all I am doing this video a audio statement I typed pre-recorded. The reason I am doing this video is because I have been deeply troubled on various matters of the heart. I will refrain from sharing as much as possible not to cause any dark energy, negativity and bad vibrational structured in this statement. I'm only sharing here in my opinion. I will share this as a single heterosexual melanated one. I have dealt with various things and I have shared many grievances over especially recent years of those in the fellowships who have not balanced and raised up a strong body of people to effectively communicate and carry on strong mutual relationships without typed words on a screen. There has not been a lot of teaching and influencing on how to communicate with people outside of typed sentences on screens. Many have taught Bible and some even knowing the said Jesus as Savior. Some have even deepened people into a romance and with this Jesus which they preach. Many have no idea that deepening on life's experiences and some trauma there will never be any place in a person's heart to ever see the Jesus that many teach as a lover and some type of bridegroom husband-like figure. There has not been a strong example of a loving father in many fellowships of any close example. Yes I'm aware that people can have a God deep relationship with the God that some preach. As a single the Jesus that many preach have made me unhappy and quite disturbed. 
Not that I was depressed or suicidal though dying has crossed the mind. Not that I hated the very life that I lived but the gospel which is said of the Jesus that many preach has not been full of structure. Many have not built a foundation of a strong family and the love of the said Jesus himself. Though I thought at various times making myself estranged from any fellowship. I feel the need of a fellowship that I will continue to attend. Many times, I feel the need to be more honest and explain. People need to know that they are loved and there is a ear there to listen not of judgment. There has been no strong training on men how to be men and women how to be women. Many women want to marry and have babies. It is disheartening in the church that preachers are telling the men that if we have a career working full time and very busy even if we travel that we don't want a husband and to settle down and have a husband and babies. Men now have an unrealistic idea of women like me who are independent and do what I do. Do I have to be as of a missionary to get a husband? Maybe I need to. That seems like the only type that get the type of men I have been attracted to. Not that it mattered. Do we all need to go to ministry school? I have bills. They don't pay themselves. Maybe if I was trained better maybe some of us wouldn't be alone. It is the Jesus that many preach seems out of reach to the masses of the population who has not been trained to receive him. Yes, there is training. Everyone is not gonna go to ministry school that includes the online classes too. There is so much structure unstructured that the Jesus that many teach and preach of is not realistic. It's just so much of the scriptures have been diverted. Then yes the missing ones that the love of this Jesus is allowed to be questioned. I often question so many things since the Jesus that they teach many as a single as this typed message is unrealistic. This Jesus they teach about is supposed to be so connected that there is not a strong desire for the fellowship of other beings closely. This Jesus that many preach and teach as many have nothing to do with you if you are not in a deep deep romantic relationship with the Jesus that many preach and teach about. Everyone has to understand many are not gonna go there. As for Shelley love one has tried to be that one. Many have tried in their fellowships. Then these preachers come along and convince the people that we are evil if we are not in a romantic relationship in or with the deepness with the Jesus that many preach. The Shelley love one I s so hard trying to ascend into this special place where I see no other gender but the Jesus which some preach. Not that it mattered. Yes there are many dark forces who have crept into many fellowships and have destroyed the structure of how families are supposed to be. Then it was the over controlling some overbearing who lead various fellowships. I will try to refrain from sharing the story of how a lot of things happened to get Shelley loved one to this point. I will refrain from being bitter. Learned many things and so many of the straight men have been feminized along with the actual feminized guys whatever they are choosing to identify as. Shelley Love One will identify as heterosexual woman of the Christian faith who works full time that is willing to marry and not work full time and have babies. A woman who gives birth and married to the man who's the father of her babies or more. That is for the sake of woke culture. Woke culture has destroyed much of the structure of many fellowships. Deep Jesus people culture has also destroyed the structure of many fellowships. If you are not deep as to a demeanor of fully engaged into this deep Jesus culture structure forget about ever connecting close to strong godly life forms. 
so much of the culture altogether have been controlled by the deep societies as well as dark forces. So many have agreed to never address any issues of the day because that's not Jesus and or the Bible. Keep in mind I'm only giving my life's experiences and observances in the almost 43 years as of this statement. There are so many dark forces and structural things that run the religious system of the Christian faith as well as other faiths. I'm probably not allowed to say or even utter anything in disagreeing with any of this deep intimacy with Jesus aka Jesus as one's spouse. It's just that Shelley loved one has tried actual mutual relationships and they didn't seem to work out so well. Do I blame everything on the reptiles and or other dark forces that run the system that keep the people tied to certain doctrines and harmful teaching that have kept many people in the fellowships alone? There has to be strong people to address this evil evil structure of the unstructure that keeps people alone and at times lonely. Know that Jesus many preach is being taught that he can replace people. People have been taught that the Jesus which many preach can replace a mommy and a daddy. Many preach Jesus can replace a brother and or sister. Many preach as though Jesus can be a ultimate replacement of a spouse and maybe a child or more. Even a pet or more if that is real event. The saying all you need is Jesus. Many say Jesus is everything but they have close friends and or family. Some even have a good spouse. Some have a kid or more. Some if not any have one person that they are connected. You see people those in the fellowships many have taught an unrealistic Jesus. They can teach of Jesus of the cross and how one is meant to suffer to be close to this Jesus and or to learn something. They have trained the people to accept misery. Many can say this Jesus wants them to prosper. Then some gave an unrealistic picture of that. Then we had to give something to the fellowship because if you don't you are wrong and you are the curse. Then the Jesus is not gonna allow you to get anything if you don't give or give a certain amount. Not that it mattered. No one is seeing that the ones in the fellowships have affordable housing and or housing. There's a need for good transportation. Not that it mattered because the Jesus that many preach has made even wanting a nuclear family so you unobtainable that why even share if because the said Michelle Brown and many others not this super quiet super perfect missionary who is on the mission field that woman is not fit to be a spouse to a strong man of the fellowship. If only I could turn back the hands of time. I would have structured that I did not be pushed to work so many hours a week at least 50 hours a week or almost. Not that it mattered because I have my Lord and Savior Jesus who is supposed to replace human connection. Not that actually holding a conversation and or chatting briefly with someone who is not muzzled up mattered, am I allowed to speak and or have any opinions? It's just that speaking to people these days one must be careful of being misunderstood. Shelley love one who loves would like to know is it okay to fellowship with those not muzzled as of on the farming site which in this case this America? So much indoctrination. So much that I am not trained to be. No one taught me how to properly communicate with people. I just walk up to people and start talking. Not that it mattered. Some people are afraid of close contact and live humans without them initiating a conversation is alarming and triggering. Some people are traumatized deeply. 
As for me I realize so many dark forces over the years have caused much friction and so much has happened that the Jesus that some preach and teach on needs to intervene and fix many of the unstructured distance that this Shelley loved one and many have from human life forms. The evil structure of society has been built on fake people who look at many screens and tell lies and give people false hope of relationships. Is it possible that regular people not tied to a form of leadership of the fellowship and or some ministry type ever have a chance of connecting to light beings and strong good life forms? It's just Shelley Love One feels the need to start a live social network where people actually come in person not anything religious because so many fellowships have ruined things so that they make it that all personality types will not be allowed human connection. People don't realize how evil and satanic in my opinion a bunch of people walking around all the time with their faces covered. My question is for the people who supposed to have the Holy Spirit? Not that things mattered. What gets me is people that supposed to be so deeply intimate with the said Jesus which some preach and teach about don't see walking around all the time with the thing on their face because as the people tied to the harming of the little ones said they needed to including get treatments. Not that it mattered. It's just Shelley Love One and many others think about marrying and having babies and or just marrying period for the sake of those who don't desire any more babies or babies themselves. Not that wanting the nuclear said family mattered because certain fellowships and those who lead some have given a bad name as to say especially related to the melanated ones. There is so much even on this being married to Jesus taught in the fellowships and the fake saying that Jesus is their everything. Some of them have human connection and spouses with private parts. It is very harmful to push towards many in the fellowships while having close human connections to others that folks like me are just supposed to be close to Jesus and let him be the everything. How can they teach others that Jesus is their everything when they have human connection and or a significant other to go home to and connect to? The evil satanic push of the muzzling of the population in my opinion has ruined the connection that we are supposed to have with each other. I see a farming site with various species which allegedly I will say the reptilians. We are supposed to connect to each other and those in the fellowships teach this unrealistic Jesus that replaces human connection. Where are the humans? So many medicated, indoctrinated, and a society that has blindly supported human slavery and those who do as well as supporting that people do not need human connection. Sometimes I wonder sometimes what I did wrong and so many times I have messed up with so many good people who would have wanted to connect to me. I tanked it by some unstructured act that I was not trained to not do. Maybe if I start my own live social network nothing religious maybe I can connect to live people without me having to type bad grammar stretched out run on sentences. Maybe there is one of a fellowship that I am attracted to that will marry me and wants babies. Remember some like Shelley Love One would be willing to not work full time be home and have babies. Bills don't pay themselves. It's just in the situation I desire human connection in the mutual way without it being a marriage relationship. The fellowships must teach people how to connect without devices and typing things. I don't want to have to keep schooling those in the fellowships as well as the leaders about the importance of human connection in person outside just some religious structure that has been highly manipulated. I don't mind prayer and maybe Bible study but can we come together to talk about personal things and lives UPS and downs?
Everything related to the fellowships is religious and if folks do have fun activities you don't ever get to sit down and talk to people on a heart to heart. Many have trained the people to the point that everything is controlled in a program programmed and never a heart to heart. Everything is not to be just prayed about. No everything is not gonna be Bible and Jesus. Some people want to share and need to share heart to heart. It's just many don't know how to connect. People need classes sometimes on that. Not that it mattered. Jesus is the one some preach and teach of in some nice jamming songs like recently I jammed to the song, A Friend, by the Winans released in the 1990s Yep. Just that flashback song one can bring up on YouTube. With all the nice songs of this Jesus talked about in some fast or slow jamming songs still doesn't and will not replace human connection not matter how much I can jam to a cool Jesus song. This Jesus doesn't replace live people human connection, and a man to marry and have babies with. No. He doesn't give birth. I'm a biological woman. I'm the one that gives birth. Not that it mattered these days because the leaders and those others who teach and preach that I'm not supposed to want human connection outside this Jesus that they preach. I will try to best of my ability not feed the dark energy and try my best to ascend in that which is good. It's that they taught an unrealistic Jesus that is so hard to obtain that maybe just maybe I may need a ministry school to train me how to connect with decent people and maybe land a family a nuclear one in this lifetime maybe 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 connection with one or more light beings that have a heart of compassion and the heart to end human slavery. It's all about freedom from the dark forces who feed off the dark energy I'm not trying to have in all honestly. All I can be is honest as honest as I can be by me this Shelly love one of YouTube and Rumble. To platforms same channel name Shelly love one, this is Michelle Brown and I will try to be quiet now, in much love I give to all of you in type sentenced run on run on. There we have it, human connection. Requested of mankind without it being something religious or something.